This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Veterans Day, Monday, the 11th of November. I'm James Spann. Thanks to all of our servicemen and women for what they do for our country. And uh, around here, we are going to deal with the coldest air so far this season by tomorrow night and Wednesday. So get ready. Uh, let's go in there and check out the big picture this morning. This is the water vapor satellite view. And uh, one more nice day today. The flow is still pretty zonal, but the pattern goes high amplitude by midweek. And that's going to send down some really cold air coming down the pike. Hey, look at the numbers this morning. This is an example of why this is not a one-number place when it comes to forecasting lows. I mean, that's almost a 20-degree swing here from 34 at Fort Payne to 53 at the Shelby County Airport just south of Birmingham. Numbers are all over the board. But everybody warms up to the upper 60s today. Some folks may be touching 70, but yeah, you can see what's coming. Uh, really cold air coming down across the uh, U.S.-Canadian border, especially considering the fact this is like middle November. That looks more like the dead of winter in January. Uh, we're seeing some negative values just north of the Canadian border, and we are going to be in the 20s here, uh, both Wednesday and Thursday morning. And Wednesday, I don't think we get out of the 40s. Hard freeze warning up for much of Oklahoma, parts of Texas and Arkansas. And again, you know, th those freeze and frost advisories, uh, that kind of varies from office to office with the National Weather Service, but since most places have already had a freeze and a frost, that you stop issuing those. That's basically, it, those are issued early in the season and late in the season. Uh, rain for the next five days, not very much. Uh, not sure we see anything at all. This is valid through Saturday morning at uh, 6 o'clock local time. Maybe this is more interesting. How about snow? This is valid from 6 o'clock tomorrow morning until 6 o'clock Wednesday morning. Uh, where there is potential for greater than one inch. And you can see uh, our friends up in Snowshoe, West Virginia. If you like to ski up there at Snowshoe Mountain, they're going to be buried. Uh, snow possible in scattered pockets. And again, this is one inch or more uh, down through parts of the Carolinas, uh, the northeastern tip of Tennessee around Bristol. And uh, there might even be a few snow flakes down into the mountains of North Georgia uh, tomorrow night, early Wednesday. But uh, that's not the deal here. The deal here is the cold. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, GFS, the global forecast system. This is valid today at 12 noon. This is the 06Z run. And again, for now, the flow is more zonal, so it'll be a nice day today. Partly to mostly sunny with a high uh, 67 to 70. And ooh, look at the 1043 high on the Canadian border. Watch that. Now tomorrow, that high strengthens and it drops down toward Omaha, Nebraska. And around here, it's going to be a windy day tomorrow. Hang on to your hat. We'll see winds out of the northwest gusting maybe to 30 miles an hour. Uh, a mixture of clouds and sunshine. Uh, and the high could be reached around midday. Uh, we could reach the middle 50s about noon, but then I think we drop into the 40s by mid to late afternoon when that strong north wind's going to make it feel colder. Uh, there might be, might be a sprinkle up in northeast Alabama, but I just don't think we need to mention it down here. Uh, this is tomorrow night at midnight. Uh, the cold air deepens. Surface high keeps on dropping south. And this is Wednesday morning at, or I'm sorry, this is Wednesday at noon. And the surface high is pretty close by. Now let's look at Wednesday morning's temperatures. This is coming off the uh, high res uh, NAM. And if you look at those little numbers, you can see we've got mostly 20s on the board. And uh, of course, we all know that the numbers will vary a good bit from point to point. We're showing 26 there at Coleman, but some of the colder pockets could easily see lows down in the middle 20s early Wednesday. So uh, that's pretty cold for this time of the year, nearing record levels. There's a look at the anomalies uh, early Wednesday, and you can see temperatures are a good 20 degrees below average down through here and along the Gulf Coast, all the way from Dallas-Fort Worth over to uh, Cape Hatteras. So get ready. The uh, GFS is printing a low of 27 early Wednesday. And then during the day, I don't think we get out of the 40s. The, the NAM has a high of 49. We'll go to Thursday. Thursday morning should be just as cold with 20s likely. But during the day Thursday, we'll start to warm up as the high will go back in the uh, 50s. And here's Friday. As we wrap up the week, uh, we see low 60s again. So, you know, early season cold snaps sure don't last long, which is good. And we note rain breaks out west of the state over parts of Arkansas, uh, down toward Shreveport, 
and into the piney woods of East Texas. So that brings up a lot of weekend forecast questions. So let's take a look at Saturday coming off the uh, GFS. This is 12 noon. Uh, We've got troughing forming in the west and a southwest flow aloft here. We all know that can be kind of tricky. This is not showing much rain on Saturday. Uh, um, I guess you might mention just the chance of a touch of light rain in spots. Uh, but I wouldn't expect much. I think most of the day Saturday will be dry. I can't guarantee it's going to be dry, but most of the day should be dry. And if any rain falls, it would be very light. Uh, This is the high-res European model. We have access to that now, which is very helpful. Uh, And this is valid uh, Saturday afternoon, and it shows no uh, significant rain across our part of the state, maybe a touch of light rain or a few showers way down south. Uh, But let's go to Sunday. And again, uh, this is suggesting the moisture could be a touch deeper. There's a a cold front coming in from the north, and this is the uh, high-res European on Sunday showing definite potential for rain showers. Nothing especially heavy. It's got rain amounts of uh, under one-half inch. So uh, clearly there will be a chance of showers on Sunday, but for the moment, Saturday looks mostly dry. We'll fine-tune the numbers as we get closer, and the weather should be mild over the weekend. The thickness values are coming up. Uh, The high probably around 70 on Saturday and Sunday, so very comfortable. And this is Monday. We go colder, uh, cooler, I should say, as the winds veer into the north, but not by much. This is not a big, you know, nothing like this. Highs will drop basically into the 60s, uh, only about a 5-degree drop. We'll check the end of the forecast. This is November 26th. It's getting out there close to Thanksgiving, and you know Thanksgiving comes uh, comes late this year. Let me pull up the old calendar. Thanksgiving is on the twenty eighth, so this is like uh, the Tuesday before Thanksgiving, right around that big travel day. And this has the core of the polar jet way up there in Canada. And if that's the case, the cold air is going to be blocked up into Canada and much of the continental United States will be relatively mild. We've got that upper low that's sitting around uh, South Georgia, and that's showing some type of surface low with that. But if this is right, and we all know this is pure speculation out here, the weather would be very mild and dry as we approach Thanksgiving. But remember, this will probably change. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. And if you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.